Greetings everyone, Looney Farm Guy here with a mod update video for Thursday. Actually it's for Wednesday, August the 17th. And this is an update to the liftable pallets and big bags by Yos. 3.46 megabytes to download. And these are, as far as I can tell, the three items. It could have been a couple of other ones, but these are the three items I know that were added. The change log says added pallet for crops, added big bags, a big bag for mineral feed and TMR, mineral feed, TMR, and uh, added fillable pallet with different capacities. Now, this is the one where we're going to spend most of our time because it is very intriguing, interesting addition to this, which could mm, change how you play the game, perhaps, if you choose. So, first of all, where do we find all these goodies? Uh, well, they're kind of all spread out along these ob the objects here. The big bag pallets, big bags, and pallets. Uh, here we have in uh, pallets, big bag pallets, liftable pallets, and big bags. So, so here we go. We got wheat, solid fertilizer, lime, pig food, road salt, seeds. Now, those are all... Um, the same price as base game however you can lift them they are they only wear weigh a hundred kilograms so uh oh sorry go back in there then in big bags uh same thing uh there it is no not industrial liftable here we go uh wheat uh fertilizer oat lime mineral feed there's the mineral feed that's been added pig food road salt seeds stones liftable bag of stones thousand liters for only 50 bucks uh tmr there's our tmr that's been added thousand liters for 1120 dollars now pallets this is where it gets interesting we have to go all the way to the end and here it is the fillable pallet well we've had some fillable pallets before but this one as you can see holds literally everything not liquid so every solid available in the game and perhaps uh, depending on uh, what mods you have downloaded it could have it could hold uh, like like i see there sugar and uh, a few other things grapes as well zero dollars mm -hmm. and um let's get a look at it here we go just a plain old looking box uh, as it stands 2000 liter capacity zero dollars Bump that up to 5,000 liters capacity. Still 100 kilograms, $0. 10,000 liters, $0. 50,000 liters, $0. Buy it. Buy as many as you want. There's $0. There it is. <laughs> Yos, you're a genius. Uh, so it's it's just an empty box, right? So what can you put into it? Well, literally everything. Let's get this mineral feed, and that'll just uh, it should just uh, whoops. There we go. Pour right in there. Mineral feed. Ta-da! Now it's all in there. It doesn't look like there's anything in there because well, it holds fifty thousand liters. Okay, let's go over here. I've got some things set up that you may be interested in. Now, saying, well, what about putting like six of them on a load loader? Well, I've just made this load loader a 300,000 liter um, trailer. <laughs> 50, 50, 100, 200, 300,000. Can them all be different uh, items? I got uh, what's in here? This is uh, wheat. Uh, Forty-three thousand liters of wheat in here. Pick it up. Put it down. Yeah, right over there. Now, there are a couple of things. Um, let's say quirks. Not really quirks. The things you should need to know. So you can't fill these from a silo. You can't fill them from a buy anything. You can't fill them. By putting them under a silo. You can empty them into a silo by just like so. Just 
put it on there it's going to empty all that into here eventually it's not super fast but mm -hmm. it's a box right so um how do you fill them well you can fill them with an auger wagon if you have these out in the field and you have a harvester you can empty the harvester into them that's uh that works i i filled that with this auger wagon let's uh let's just let's just show you that so if you have stuff in a in a in a uh, silo that you want to put into one of these or something like that that's no problem it, it's easily transferable now you can fill it while it, while it's still on the uh, trailer too so it just the thing is it's small so there you go just like that and so it's all in there so you can have several different products actually and they're not going to it's not auto loading or anything so they're not going to interfere with each other so what else can you do well that's one scenario um, another is uh, well how else can you fill them well you could probably probably uh, you can fill them oh let's grab this one come on um, from a truck just throw it behind the truck I got a truck full of uh, lime here and there it is so just dump into it it'll fill it and uh, so there you, there you go if you want to have a spare uh, 50,000 liters of uh, lime just you know handy say you know put a few of these around a field or something like that um, you can do that now um, let's see here oh excuse me to sneeze okay so let's go here um, I have a fertilizer spreader I put one inside but it doesn't like it uh, the fertilizer spreader doesn't particularly like this box being in it. the worker for sure doesn't like it uh, you can fill it like so uh, let's see can we fill it from the ground will it let me Uh, yeah, so it's not gonna let me fill the lime from it sitting on the ground. You have to kind of basically pour it in there. Yeah, I'm not getting. Let's get our help window on. Yeah, it's not gonna let me. So you can't fill it like you can fill. Uh, from a, a bag or a box just so you know but it will I mean if you go like this and it's it's gonna empty into it so it's kind of a little bit more of a manual uh, operation there um, I did try something else I tried the old trick of um, having them on a trailer and having a, a uh, fertilizer spreader on the front to see if it'll pull them out of the boxes uh, but it wouldn't do that right so like this so if you have a trailer full of uh, of lime uh, that will work but these somehow these for some reason these boxes don't uh, translate into they're not connected as it were to the tractor to be able to fill a fertilizer spreader but you definitely can pull them around like that um, I mean yeah you can have these uh, these things all over the place 50,000 liters that's quite a lot um, just as a container um, it's like little portable silos really um, I'm sure there's other things you can do with them uh, just kind of thought of a couple of things uh, definitely as a uh, as a, a cheap you know really large um, container to go out and get crop from the fields a little slow unloading but um, you can I mean that doesn't matter you can just take them off throw them on to here do will it unload if I drive over top I didn't try that yet 
will it unload into the silo if I just drive the trailer on top? And look at that. So you don't even have to take them off or anything. They'll automatically unload. Just drain out the bottom like so. Very neat. And you can just leave them there. Or I mean, it might take a while, but they're all, they're all unloading at the same time. It seems. Yeah, I got two boxes. So if you got six of them, six of them full, they'll all unload at the same time. So that's pretty neat. Even though it's a little slower if they all have some product in it. Hmm. So, yeah. Really cool little addition by uh, Yos there. Um, need some more playing around with, but um, anyways, that's, um, that's quite incredible. Uh, and that's the Liftable Pallets and Big Bags. Uh, mod by Yos 3.46 megabytes to download um, yeah and wow uh, update is great <laughs> the whole pack is great but this is making it you know astounding so um, I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only game so till next time bye for now